Good morning, everybody. Today, we continue to hurt for the city of Louisville, the Commonwealth of Kentucky, and the family of Breonna Taylor. For the last several months, this Commonwealth has been dealing with the pandemic that has laid bare and put on full display our society's inequalities and injustice. This display hasn't been in words or theories, it's been in death. Our society's inequalities span over 400 years of slavery, segregation, Jim Crow, and overt and implicit racism. These inequalities exist in many forms, in healthcare, public safety, and justice. Black and African Americans make up just 8% of the state's population, but nearly 18% of COVID-19 deaths over the past several months have been from that same community. Inequality in healthcare results in death, pure and simple. In our justice system, our symbol, Lady Justice, is supposed to be blind. But many in our state feel, rightfully so, that color is all that's seen. Our incarceration rates bear that out, and the incidents from Louisville with Brianna to Minneapolis show it is very real. Disproportionate death. In my short time as governor, I've seen and I've felt a lot. I've had individuals try to create fear and terror in my own family, but that's been a few days, maybe a week, certainly not a lifetime. I will never understand how it feels to carry the frustration and fatigue of racism in a world and a country that has failed to address it in a meaningful way. So in many ways, I cannot feel that pain, but I can listen to others describe it. I can learn from that experience, and I can do as governor whatever I can to help. Today, we have the mother of Brianna Taylor, Tamika Palmer, here. Uh, Tamika is to give uh, voice to her daughter, to that request, to that demand uh, for justice. But I also know a request uh, that, that her daughter's legacy is not marred uh, by violence. She's here today with Lenita Baker, and I want to make sure that um, we all not just listen, uh, but we hear uh, Tamika uh, as she gives voice to her daughter. Ugh, I'm sorry. Again, I am Tamika Palmer. I'm Brianna's mother. It's sad that we all have to be here for this, but I don't think that I'm asking for too much. Just justice for her. Just that people know the truth, what happened, that she didn't deserve this, that people are fired for doing this to her. To know Brianna, she was full of life. She loved life, she respect life. This is so much bigger than her, but we can't get justice with violence. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't help. It's, it doesn't help her, it doesn't help us. It doesn't help the world we live in. We can't fight violence with violence. I just demand justice for Brianna. Uh, and now, um, on behalf of, of Mrs. Palmer, uh, Lenita Baker will take some of your questions uh, on this, and then I'll address um, last night's uh, event. Lydia?
Yes, that is the request that the police officers involved in the murder of Breonna Taylor are fired and ultimately charged. Uh, we understand that there's different offices that handle that, uh, but we would ask that Mayor Fisher terminate these officers. There's no reason that we are still, they are still on LMPD payroll as we sit here today. Uh, you've seen in Minnesota, you've even seen in Georgia where they've taken swift actions against police officers uh, for misconduct. But here, all we keep hearing about is due process. However, Breonna Taylor did not get her due process. And so we are asking that they be terminated and eventually charged. And, and, Not being down there, I'm not inclined to, to, to say. From, from what I, I see on TV, I do think there could be a, a little bit, it, there has been a lot of aggression towards pro protesters, uh, but protesters are engaging in, in acts that we've asked not occur. But I do think that um, this is the time for a change in policing in America. This is, we've seen in Minnesota, where police are marching with protesters. We've seen compassionate police departments, and that's what we need to see across America in order to open up and build the rapport between communities and police departments nationwide. There's not been enough done here. Um, the police officers are, again, still employed by LMPD, still being paid by LMPD. Um, they've, th they've been placed on administrative duty. That is not enough. We know that they recklessly shot into Brianna's home. We know that they put all, not only civilians at, 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 in harm's way, killing Brianna, but they also put other officers in harm's way. So there's no, they, they have enough at this point to terminate them from their employment. Um, as, a far, as far as across the country, this is showing we need a change in the way that we police. That's what America is speaking up on. It, it, the time is now. So. I thought with everything going on, with so many people in pain, and with admittedly my inability to feel the depths of that um, pain, uh, that um, bringing Mrs. Palmer with the ability to tell her truth on this stage to the entire state, not just one area of it, would hopefully not just help in the justice that she is seeking. It would help people feel that uh, their voice and their message is being heard, including right here in the highest levels uh, in Frankfurt. And I believe that and what you heard today uh, was that yes, um, she wants justice. And yes, the family um, wants people to continue uh, to, to push for justice for Brianna, but she does not want violence as things move forward. And I believe that by now, everybody is listening. That there is an opportunity during daylight hours and in, in peaceful uh, gatherings to be heard. I can tell you the entire media will be there and will be listening. 